Hello everybody, today I want to thank you all for 250 subscribers. Boy, this means a lot to me. Ever since I started, I have been gaining a lot of subscribers and it's all thanks to you guys who have been supporting me for the past five years. So thank you very much for all of the support. So anyways, what a better way to celebrate my 250 subscriber special is I'm going to light up every HID fixture that I have up on this shelf. So anyways, let's see what is going to be featured for this 250 subscriber special video. First off, I have my 250 watt Pulse Start Metal Halide High Bay Light. I got this in June of 2019. So I've had this fixture for 15 months. So that's a very long time. And these are brand new to me, or actually to my light bulb collection. This one here is a Hubble lighting, 175 watt, medium based metal halide floodlight. And the bulb is, and the bulb is made by PLT. And right behind here is a 100 watt metal halide ballast box that I got at the restore in Denver for $10. And the bulb I'm using is a Sun Pulse 100 watt metal halide grow lamp. And the color temperature of that bulb is 6400 Kelvin for daylight. Let's move down, move on down to the second shelf. I also forgot to mention that I'm using the same Venture 250 watt metal halide bulb, the daylight one, which has a shielded arc tube and um, has a color temperature of 5000K and a CRI of 90. So here on the second shelf, is a, this is actually a new fixture as well. This one here is a ITT. 175 watt mercury vapor yard light and the bulb I'm using is a Regent 175 watt mercury vapor bulb which is clear. I believe there are coated ones as well but I don't know if I haven't encountered any of those lamps yet but if I do I'll make a video of those in separate videos. And here's a new fixture as well. This is a triple deluxe ballast kit so you can see that the ballast operates the 175 watt metal halide M57, the mercury vapor, and the 150 watt M107, the Pro Start version of 150 watt. And this fixture is not going to be turned on because it doesn't have a bulb. And the bulb that I'm using for my 175 watt fixture is my Halco slash Prolume 175 watt mogul based metal halide lamp. There are medium based versions of this lamp as well. And I do have some in my collection, but the one that I have is having issues. So here on the third shelf, this is an old vintage Philips 250 watt metal halide lamp. This is from February of 2000. I got this at the ReStore for $5, so that was nice and cheap. So this is what the Philips bulb looks like, and this has never been featured before in any of my big event videos for like lighting. And here on the right, this is a bulb that I'd never featured, but I have made a video of this bulb back in June. So this one here is a Venture 400 watt, 5000K metal halide lamp, which is Pro Start. You'll see by the etch it says MH 400 watt slash U slash 5K. So this is a daylight metal halide lamp. And these two fixtures on the bottom here are still the same. I haven't found any other bulbs or other you know ballasts to put them in, but I'm just gonna keep these the same. I just haven't found any other brands of metal halide and high pressure sodium that are 250 and 175. So I haven't found any of those bulbs made by different brands at all, so these two are going to be the same, but however I labeled them with a label maker as you can see, 250 watt high pressure sodium S50 and the 175 watt pulse Star metal halide M152. So I, these are all of the fixtures and hopefully none of an amp break, hopefully the amp breaker won't trip because the maximum output of current in this part area is 15, which is not very much. So that is not very much at all. So I'm gonna try to be as cautious as I can. And plus, as these fixtures start up, they start with low amps. And then as the bulbs rise and get brighter, um, this will, um, the amps will start to increase a little more. And of course I have a, a banner 
that has like a runway font like you've seen at airports and of course a taxiway sign font for the word subscribers. So you'll see that once I power up all of these fixtures. And I'm going to start them up via a remote operator. You can see right there, I have a, I have a remote uh, receiver that gets the signal from this little remote device right here. So anyways, enough of me talking. Let's hope that none of the um, lights kill any fuse breakers. So anyways, enough of me talking, like I just said. Let's go ahead and switch on all of these fixtures on at once for my 250 subscribers celebration on YouTube. So, here we go. And this mercury vapor yard light here is equipped with a photo cell, so this, this yard light might turn off while I'm making this video. And like I said, it did turn off. You can see my Venture lamp is at full brightness, and it's actually giving off like a sky blue color right now at the moment. But as the halides vaporize, it'll be pure daylight. And this right here is at full brightness too, and this one is too, and that one just turned back on. You can see that my Philips 250 watt is like a yellow metal halide lamp, similar to high pressure sodium, but it's a little bit more whitish yellow compared to high pressure sodium. So yeah, as you can tell, it's really bright in here. So anyways, I think that'll do. So anyways, thank you so much for 250 subscribers. So anyways, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you all very much for watching.